create a more elegant look for our plain cornice that we've already applied the face fabric, you can apply a second layer of fabric like this shear and all the pleats go across the face. Here's another second layer application. But what we've done with the welt is we've wrapped uh, that netting around the welt and sewed it so it's all ready to go when we get there. Second layer is put on the cornice. You finish off the welt and the rest of the cornice board just like we showed you. For this one we've used pearl beads. We took our pattern that we used to cut our cornice shape, marked it on our fabric. This sewing machine has a special foot that allows me to apply the beading on my chalked line just like that. Make sure that you add a little additional fabric at the back so that when you apply your cornice fabric to the face of your cornice, it fits properly. You notice the trim on this one, it's a raw wood. We've got a fabric trim on this one, and this is a white kind of plastic trim. The one we'll be making is actually a wood stain trim. Perfect. And we are finishing the back of these cornice boards before we apply the wood trim. Let's take a look at the one that we're going to build. All right. Now here's the wallpaper border and trim that we're going to use for this cornice board. Let me show you what we've got here. We have a wallpaper border that's actually seven inches wide but we're only going to use the six and an eighth inch picture you see. So that's the height of our cornice board and another staple. Now, let's work our way out to the edge. Now, the trick with the paper, you can see here how the design was nicely set and balanced. You can see we've got a little poof foot. It doesn't even look like a wallpaper border. It's beautiful. Now, hopefully this will inspire you to find a few ideas to decorate your cornice boards. For decorating tips, fabric selections, and all of the step-by-step -step instructions that you've seen in this video, check out the DVD at theupholsterystudio.com.